Guys, AI has come to London, UK, and the bad thing is it sounds like it could be a real, real replacement for the taxis and Uber and that. Honestly, let me go into a bit of detail about the company and how it differs from that Waymo over in America, which you see loads of flaws with. So I'm looking at Waymo going, that's not going to survive in the UK, that's not going to survive in the UK, and this new company might do. Honestly, guys, do us a favour, like the video, subscribe and follow. Definitely check out Instagram. I'm trying to grow my Instagram at Driver Matty. So go follow me on Instagram if you've got an Instagram account, please. And definitely go check out drivermatty.com. Merch galore. you got no excuses now. January's over. Payday. Get spending. <laughs> Only messing. Listen, guys, enjoy the video. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. And I'll see you in a second. Right, guys, so this video, right, is about this company. Now, I'm kind of blown away. I put the article um, on DM News. Go check it out for a good read. Um, but I want to give you the summary, and obviously I want the YouTube audience to obviously give me their feedback in the comments, right, and TikTok feedback, obviously. This goes on TikTok and YouTube, sorry. Um, so the London-based startup is called Way, W-A-Y-V-E, right? And it's kind of like Waymo, which is the famous one in America. But as you know, in, in America, there's loads of problems. There's, to, uh, there's all sorts of issues with it. So with Waymo in America, right, it is like a hybrid system of AI. So obviously, sensors and everything else with human interaction, right? So that is like what Waymo is like. It's a hybrid between humans, input, AI, and together, they're trying to master the driverless car system, right? But obviously with human error, there is errors. Where AI is a lot more obviously clever really than humans. <laughs> it is, and you can't you can't you can't say it's not. Do you know what I mean? It is clever, but I've seen enough movies to see where this is going, guys, right? So the London based company, Wave, um, they're hopefully getting on the road by 2026, which is next year, right? In London. And it's complete AI. There's no human involvement. The vehicles perceive, predict, and interact with all dynamic environments and learn human behavior in the car. Um, so this approach apply, allows AI to adapt to various driving scenarios without the um, pre-program of a human. And I was reading this, I was reading this, so the article's in DM News, right? So I was reading, I was just going, oh my God, I've seen Terminator... I've seen iRobot. Guys, have you seen the video? Uh, the film on Netflix with uh, Megan Fox. It's a bit naughty, actually, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and, um, but yeah, to be honest, it's literally that. Imagine Megan Fox, right, as a car. That's what this is going to be. And honestly, it's just going to be a massive effect on driving in general. Now, the only thing is, what I've always kind of put me off from um, AI cars and driverless cars is replacing the Uber trade is... Uber, right, charge the customer a couple of quid, right, and then they give us the change, yeah, and then we're responsible for everything, the fuel, the car, the insurance, everything, Uber's got a very little kind of involvement with our expenses and our issues, so who's going to fund, that's what I don't get is, I know they're getting loads of backing, like multi, multi-million pound backing, but who's going to fund a driverless car? Do you know what I mean? And if it crashes, who's unsure and who's responsible? Do you know what I mean? That's the one thing I don't get on how they're going to do it. So are you going to have, what, each car running on AI, it's got to be, what, a couple of hundred grand, maybe a million quid per car. And they're going to be bouncing around London doing £3.70 jobs. I just can't see. I understand driverless cars could come in the future, and I think millionaires would love it to be ferried about their own personal chauffeur, bit of a gimmick and everything else. I think it's brilliant. But I just can't see it being a mass-produced scale to replace private hire drivers or uh, all the hackney drivers in London. I just can't see that scale. I think the cost of each vehicle must be a lot more. Do you know what I mean? And it's also there's one person paying for the vehicle, all the vehicles or one company. So is this way you're going to pay for every vehicle? Just say there's a 1,000 AI vehicles around London to work Uber. Do you know what I mean? Is Uber going to team up with? I don't know how it's going to work. Logically, I think driverless cars will be coming on the roads in the UK by next year by reading up on the same current subject. I just can't see it being another 
got to be at least five, ten, ten years before you even start transferring people as a as a paid service. Do you know what I mean? I really do. But listen, let me know in the comments, guys. I found it fascinating. Go check out the um, DM News, and I found the article fascinating, guys. Honestly, kind of um, kind of surprised me to be honest with you. Man. But listen, go check out DM News. Check out the merch. There's my hoodie. I'm not rich because I pay 50% commission and I've got me mugs and all that, you know what I mean? So go check that out as well. Listen, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.